Today I'm finally confronting my fantasy imposter syndrome and making a rice map. It's been a long time coming. Coffee staining might speed up the degradation of my paper, but I'm okay with that because coffee and tea staining gives me big Ratatouille-esque flashbacks to the simpler life of sixth grade me, making excuses to tea stain anything I could remotely justify. But if you want to preserve longevity, you can use things like watercolors, ink, or thin down acrylic paint. It was pretty therapeutic tracing around all the rice and clearing it away to be left with a land ready for molding, but I am not a cartographer and I do not know maps, so I did have to do some research into what symbols are generally used and I settled on a load of mostly organic map markers like cliffs and forests and mountains. This is such a fun way to experiment with building immersive worlds, so it's a great activity for fantasy writers or D&D dungeon masters or LARP creators, but even if you don't have an interest in those particular things, you could make one of these and turn it into a notebook cover or a wall hanging, or you could just do a cute little crafternoon hang with friends or even by yourself like I did.